In this episode, I'm going to show how I took this image of a fairly outdated kitchen and turned it into this more modern kitchen, and I did it very quickly with some new tools that are going to become game changers for real estate photographers. This is going to open up new possibilities and avenues of opportunity for additional revenue streams as we're going to be seeing this implemented into Photoshop. You can start using this now, but it will be in Photoshop later this year in 2024, and it's going to change a lot because it used to be that you would have to pay for expensive renders, and other companies would usually do that, architecture and design companies. But now this ability is coming into Photoshop. It's something you can start working with now. It's what I'm going to show in this episode and talk about how you can then expand your revenue streams using this with opportunities to your clients. So starting here in Photoshop, you can see that I've got this finished image right here. This is a typical flambient image where I did use some flash photography to get a better result than just the ambient image alone. So that gives us something that's very sharp and it's very bright. And yes, that's very good, but we wanna be able to show the client also other possibilities. This helps them if they wanna pitch ideas to other clients. You know, we've had virtual staging in the past and that's been very good to also show an empty house and what it could look like if it did have furniture inside of it. But now we can take this kitchen we can say that we also have other possibilities to turn it into something like this based off of something that might be more appealing to a more modern market. Now this wouldn't be something that would be put on the multiple listing service. This is something that's used by then your agents, by your clients that would be able to show their clients, their potential buyers that this is what the kitchen could look like. This is the possibility that could come out of a kitchen like this this. So sometimes it's hard for buyers to visualize this. And this is something that's very common that I do, by the way, when it comes to commercial real estate photography, where a very messy building can be turned into something that is a lot more appealing to show the clients that there is potential. So anyways, this will be coming into Photoshop shortly. In fact, you could do this in the beta version of Photoshop right now. But as you know, I don't like using beta versions of Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over and and you can do this as well to the Firefly website. If you know by now, Firefly is made by Adobe. That's what's implemented into Photoshop for all the AI, for instance, the generative fill. And now also Firefly text to image is coming and that's what will be implemented into Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how it can be used to our advantage for this particular type of edit. What we would be doing was we would be generating something with AI using text to image. Cutting to the chase on that, let's go over to that tab that I have open over here. And here what I've done is you can see I've generated four different possible images that could have been used off of a simple description that I used, which was high-end modern kitchen with dark blue cabinets, white quartz countertop, stainless steel refrigerator, stainless steel microwave, stainless steel stove with white walls. But the key to this is that I'm using what's known as a structure reference. And that's in this section right here. What I'm able to do is to upload an image. So what I was able to do is upload that original image, which was in this directory, and I was just able to pull that JPEG out, the finished product that was sent to the agent that they would put on the multiple listing service. Once that was opened, and I generated then the text to image, Using that structure reference, it basically looks very similar to that kitchen, but just with the changes that I did. Now there's a few things that you can always do here. You can change that the strength of this. How much do you want it to look exactly like it? Well, here I've got it cranked all the way up. I also have a style reference known as hyper-realistic down here. That's one of the effects here. And I've got that strength and the visual intensity set all the way up. So you can see there's hyper-realism down here, hyper-realistic, and it's going to be a photo. It's not going to be art. Just with these settings, I was able to change this. I could also change, instead of dark blue cabinets, I could say, let's say that it is with green cabinets. And if I did that, and I said generate, I get a few results of some very bright green cabinets. So I could also change that though to say something like dark green cabinets, which, which gets me a fairly decent result too of a few different possibilities. Now, none of these are perfect. This has a long ways to go yet to be something perfect. But when you're showing concept images, 
images, this gets you something that's very, very close that you can edit, especially since these are about four megapixels. So this is much bigger than the original Firefly one. In fact, they're skipping Firefly two in Photoshop and instead they're putting in Firefly three. That's what's selected up here. And this is something that's been instrumental, by the way, in Firefly 2 and Firefly 3 for making my baby elephants collection. You may have seen this. It's a lot of fun images of playful baby elephants that I put into a children's book to teach stories about acceptance and how we're all different and how we are all unique. My grandkids love it. And I've got a link to this, by the way, if you want to see the baby elephants, all the gallery to it, all the images, and the children's book as well. I've got that down in the description of the video, as well as some other pertinent information. But let's get back here into the real estate realm and talk about this image here. Now this did work very well off of that structure reference image, but I didn't have a lot to really show. Let's take a look at a little more complex example. When we go out, this was another angle that I shot of this particular kitchen, and there's a lot going on here with the sink here, a lot of stuff behind it. So when I try to do the same thing, I get some different results. This was with using different color schemes, and it does give you an idea going back and forth here on what this kitchen might look like, but it's not realistic enough to really show it as a render. You can see there's some weird stuff going on here with the sink, the faucet isn't in the right place. So that's a little bit off, the ceiling isn't quite right, but this does get you very, very close. But for everybody that might be afraid that AI is going to be taking our jobs as real estate photographers, that's just not going to happen. This is concept stuff. You can't advertise that this is the real kitchen. This is the real kitchen. But what you can do is start offering your clients the ability to say, this is a little bit dated. You know, I also offer these type of renders that show possibilities of what the kitchen could look like. This way you can present to clients that might be so unsure because they're making comments about having a dated kitchen, that this is what it would look like if they just did some refacing and a few other things. This opens up a new realm of possibility. It's like doing the virtual staging on steroids in a way where instead of just playing furniture, we can actually change the entire construction of a place. Between doing this and then also virtual staging, it makes you more of a real estate media provider showing not just what is, but also what could be. Once again, this will be available in Photoshop later this year. It is available in the beta, but for right now, you can use it at the Firefly website. It doesn't cost anything. If you have an Adobe subscription, you just go to the text to image, and then you start typing in your prompts. And like you can see in this case, the important thing was that I used a structure reference. And then I uploaded an image of a particular kitchen that I wanted it to mimic, put the strength and the visual intensity and the strength down here on styles all the way up and then just describe what you want to see, click generate and enjoy the results.